welcome back to Camping with Emmy. I'm Denise. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I painted the walls in the kitchen as well as all the kitchen cabinetry. I chose to paint the upper cabinets in a nice beautiful white and I chose to paint the lower cabinets and the base to the banquette in a pretty shade of green. Actually the same shade of green that I used in the bathroom and I think that they turned out really nice. But first, I would like you to know that I cleaned everything really well first. And what I used, of course, is my, uh, have my handy dandy uh, crud cutter. And I used this on the walls as well as all the cabinets. And it takes off any grease or grime that may be on them. Next, I took all the cabinet doors off and I took all of the handles off of the cabinets. doors for the camper. Uh, I will be using my palm sander. I think that this is a really good tool to use on these cabinets and with that I'm going to be using a 320 grit sandpaper. Uh, we want to get the surface roughed up a little bit but we don't want to tear it up so I think a 320 will be a really good grit for what we're going for here and as always I'll be wearing a dust mask while I'm sanding. Um, it is really important to sand down your cabinetry before you prime it and paint it because it really gives the, the paint something to stick to. So uh, today's the day. I'm going to get going and get these doors sanded. that uh, I did use a primer on the walls and on the cabinetry before I painted them. And I used a Kills brand product of primer and that seemed to work really well. So for the walls and the upper white cabinets, I used the Sinser Smart Coat. It's a paint and primer in one. And this did a really nice job. Now I will mention that with the white paint, it took three coats of paint. Uh, plus the primer, whereas the green only took um, two coats of paint. And so uh, that's one plus about painting with a color is that you don't have to do as many coats typically, but I'm real happy with the way that everything turned out.
the handles, I decided to spray paint them in a matte black. Um, the handles are actually really nice. They're solid metal, but they were a really bright yellow gold and I just didn't really care for that color. So I chose to spray them in the matte black and uh, I think that they turned out beautifully. I would also like to mention that I used some wax on the cabinet doors once the paint was good and dry. And the reason for that is you just really want to put something over your paint to help seal it and protect it. And this uh, wax worked really well. I just took an old clean white sock and dabbed it in the wax and I just rubbed it in and I waited three to five minutes and then I buffed it out. And it does really help protect the paint. If you don't wax, I strongly recommend that you put a couple coats of polyurethane on your cabinet doors. Now, these upper cabinets have these brown squares of material that are original to these cabinets. And I don't care for the way that these look. So I am going to be coming up with a solution. I'm going to be putting something in there to cover up the brown. I purchased and some foam core board. And I'm going to be cutting it to the same size as the brown panels that are currently on the upper cabinets. Then I'm going to take some of my leftover wall peel and stick wallpaper from the bathroom and I'm going to cover the foam core board. Then I'm going to take the piece and I'm going to glue it into place. I'm going to glue the foam core board in place over top of the brown panels.
like the paint job so far? Do you like the green cabinets? Yeah, you do? All right, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, that's only partially done. She's like, hey, I'm not sure about this. I know, what do you think, Emmy? We still have to work on the bank got cushions, don't we? I know, it's not done yet. What do you think? So far so good? You like it? Do we have your seal of Emmy approval? <laughs> And the reason for putting the primer on the walls and on the cabinetry is because campers, of course, unless you're living in them full time, they're not temperature controlled. Uh, they can be subject to extreme heat and extreme cold if you live in a cooler climate like we do. So it's, it's, it, preparation for your walls is very important. You really want to clean them and sand them, sand them and prime them before you paint them. And then you shouldn't have any issues with the paint sticking your adhering to your walls or, or your cabinets. And in this case, um, I think that everything turned out beautifully. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked today's video, please hit the thumbs up button and leave us a comment below. And please subscribe so that you will be notified of any upcoming videos. In my next video, I'm going to be doing a custom paint job on the kitchen countertops and on the kitchen table. So uh, please stay tuned. And on behalf of Rick and Emmy and myself, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. We'll see you soon.